Oh man, look at this mess. Ugh, where is it? Oh yes. Yes. The Chaos Breaker. Soon, Max Stone. The ultimate weapon against evil. Yeah. Chapter 5, Gateway to the Hidden Shrine. After a week at sea, Sentry spotted a horde of monsters approaching the vessel. Max Stone, we have enemies approaching off the starboard and port bows and the starboard and port quarter. All hands, prepare for battle. Oh yeah, it's your favorite Admiral Max Stone 999 nine four nines. Yeah, gaming battle 15. After this, we will be halfway, you land lovers. Oh yeah, this is actually a fairly easy battle and a good one to grind on if you want because you can just simply retreat below decks to restart the battle, which I, I uh, did that a, a little bit just to grind slightly. Um, I don't want to cheat too much. <laughs> but, uh, th this, is, this is a fairly easy battle, no nothing big here. So some nautical terminology. Um, the front of a ship is called the bow. The rear part of the ship is called the stern. And the uh, left side of the ship, it, so the bow is considered the front. So the left side of the ship, if you're facing the bow, is called the port side. The right side of the ship, if you're facing the bow, is called the starboard side. And then if something's off the starboard bow, that's off the front right of the ship facing forward. And then off the stern is called the quarter. So off the port quarter would be off the rear left of the ship. So for example, these pe th what we're seeing right now is off the port quarter. That's the starboard quarter. And then amidships is halfway up the ship. So we have some uh, conches or whatever amidships. And then a couple enemies off the bow. Oh yeah. So if you're paying attention, this is a new track, new musical track. And it's actually kind of fitting for a ship battle, I guess. But this is a very unique track. I don't know if they play it again or if this is only for the ship battles. But it's kind of kind of upbeat. <laughs> So I think the, the shellfish are a little more deadly than the conches, and I think they both can possibly poison you, because Gort gets poison. I have to clear the poison with uh, Lau. Lau. Lau has detox. Uh, they're getting close to promotion about level 10. So the enemies come for, straight for the ship, unlike in a lot of battles where they'll just kind of sit there. They, they definitely come aboard the ship and, and attack. Avast! Get him off the ship! Get that thing off my vessel! Yes, Admiral Max. We're working on it. Go, Guns. Yeah. I grind Domingo uh, just enough so he can learn freeze level 2 so that'll really help so yeah all you have to do is go to those stairs to go below decks below decks is simply a priest so you can raise people and save the game and also um, the headquarters function and, and they actually have unique dialogue They'll, a lot of them will say they're seasick and stuff so um, spoiler alert there, there's another shit battle not not the next battle but there's essentially another ship battle, so there's two ship battles, and on the second one, I'll show what Below Decks is like. But, I, mi I skipped over it for this round, but there'll be another ship battle. Um, battle 17. A after this battle, we'll be halfway. Halfway of the 30 battles total. Oh yeah. This is not a bad battle either, but it's, it's pretty easy. Definitely more challenges and battles.
So I will reward those who watch my channel with some previews of what I'm thinking of. Um, I just kind of discovered some of the green screen capabilities of different things. And so I was actually thinking about going back to finish Dune 2, the real-time strategy game, but I was going to kind of do my own cutscenes with the Baron Stanimal Tarkonin, kind of like the Baron Vladimir Harkonin, behind a, a green screen of like a desert or like uh, the Harkonin's chambers or something, like doing my own little cutscenes for the different battles would be cool. Oh yeah, like my little skit for that. Try to look, uh, I'm kind of naturally like a hard cone because I'm kind of overweight, so I think it works out pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's conch, yeah. Con the conches are weaker than the shellfish, I think. Slightly, not, not, not much weaker, but... I'm not sure if both of them can poison you or only one of them can. I just know that Gort gets poisoned at one point. And then, of course, the damn sea bats. The sea bats are just annoying, just like the other bats were. They they don't really do too much damage, but they're hard to hit. Um, I haven't been put to sleep yet, so I don't I don't know if they have if they can put you to sleep or not. I know the other bats could. But I, ha I have n I managed to skip that status ailment. I haven't been put to sleep yet from them, so... Maybe they don't have that ability, I don't know. Arthur's moving up. So I might I might decide to promote Max Stone next battle. Before the next battle. Do a little skip for it. For his promotion. He'll become a man. Yeah. Yeah. Because as, as I've mentioned before, you don't want to promote everyone at once. You want to stagger promotions. I mean, if you promote your entire force, you're literally taking the stats of all your entire force and reducing it by 20% if you promote everyone at once. So, generally speaking, it's not a good idea to promote everyone at once. Unless you have, like, really powerful weapons they can immediately equip. So if you happen to be late enough in the game where you have access to some of the powerful weapons, then maybe it makes sense to promote, go ahead and promote them, because the you can counter, counteract some of that initial stat drop with uh, some powerful weapons and whatnot. See, it, I kind of wish that like promotion should just be a purely positive thing. They should have just made it like an automatic thing, like you hit level 10 and you're automatically promoted or something, something like that. It's, this this promotion system is kind of screwy, and you know you can actually screw yourself if you if you were to always promote at level ten, you you know, and if you did every one at once, you could make the game significantly more challenging for yourself. So definitely a st definitely a drawback to this game is the promotion system, and there's plenty of other drawbacks too. But overall, this is still a legendary game, easily. This and Shining Force 2 are easily like my two favorite Sega Genesis games for sure. These games are definitely up there. They're just a lot of fun. A lot of the atmosphere is fun with these games. Go Kokichi! Yeah, Kokichi. Good Kokichi. Eventually, Domingo, I think, can learn up to freeze level four, or at least freeze level three. So, and he gets—he has a lot of magic points. It's because you know, because his attack kind of sucks, but he has a lot of magic points and can keep firing magic through much of the battle. And his defense is very impressive. So, Domingo is really awesome. Definitely a powerful character that 
is really easy to miss. Oh, yeah, see, like, Luke... Luke's defense took a cut when I promoted him, so he's even though his attack's high, his defense is lacking a little bit. It'll take some time to get it back up to snuff, but that's one consequence of promotion, of course, is your defense will go down. You might be able to equip a powerful weapon, but you're you're gonna have a harder you're, you're, their defense is guaranteed to go down, which means they're gonna take more damage. Plus, they'll lose some of their HP, so that stat will go down. So you have to be careful when you decide to promote, because stats like defense, etc. will go down. But then they'll become more powerful. Of course, they look awesome. But I, I think before the next battle, I'm, I'm definitely going to promote a couple more characters. Not, not all of them, of course, but I want to promote some of them. And you can let me know in the comments, if you're watching this, like, who you think I should promote. And I, you know, they have to be over level 10 to promote. Like, I might consider promoting Xylo. And who knows, if I get enough comments, you know, I might kind of uh, pick one at random for who to promote. All, all three of you that comment. <laughs> well, I, I, lately I've been getting more comments from just random people, which is good. So, uh, and I did notice that for whatever reason, Shining Force isn't terribly popular on YouTube for some reason. Like, I've seen Shining Force playthrough videos that are a couple years old that have a, they'll have like five views on them, and I'm like, what? <laughs> after like five years, like after a few years, and they'll have like five views. So. You know, and they're and they and the videos are not not they're not like they're poorly done or anything. They're they're fairly decent. It's just that for whatever reason, you know, people aren't really searching for Shining Force, a 30-year-old game. That, although there is, there is kind of a demand for retro games, because um, you have gamers like me that are all about the old games. I love the older ones, and then other gamers that have to make sure that they're first in line for the PS5, or and, and that's fine. If you want your PS5, you can get it, but, you know, by the time I get the PS5, they'll, they'll be up to the PS8. That's that's when I'm going to get a PS5, is when they, when they launch the PS8, or something. Keeping up the heels, 10 experience every time. Ugh, it takes healers forever to go anywhere. Oh well. They'll eventually get get up there, it just takes forever. Oh well. This battle's wrapping up. I think we just got a few Pegasus Knights off the port bow that kind of came up at midships. So I, I think that's it. Um, I think the next ship battle on Battle 17, they come. There'll actually be a couple waves of enemies, so you'll get through one wave, and then um, after you kill them all, you think you're done. But then they'll they'll launch more enemies. It'll be a continuous attack. So I, the second ship battle is more challenging than the, a little bit more challenging than the first one, and they'll bring out a new enemy, uh, which is similar to the Pegasus Knights, a, a gargoyle. There'll be one gargoyle. It's a flying creature that's, you know, basically like a beefed up Pegasus Knight. So after this, it'll be a little bit of the town. We'll end up in a, the town of Warhol or something. I don't know. Kind of a relaxing tropical town. And the Tao's outfit is actually fitting for the beach resort that we're going to. Yeah.
ship was damaged in the battle. We must repair it. That island over there. Thank you for destroying these monsters. My name is Shell of War Warall. Warall. You can repair your ship in Warall. Please follow me. I've heard of Warall. You should be able to get the ship fixed there. I'll take some t it'll take some time to repair the ship. Try to rest and relax. Yeah. Welcome to Warall. There's lots to see here. Take the guest boat if you get tired of walking. Hello, Max Stone. Remember me, Boken? The water is great as long as you don't get eaten. Do you know there's an enormous building under this island? It's amazing. Foreshadowing of the next battle. Do you know there's an enormous... Yeah, I already said that. Do you like fish? Yeah, sure. You'll like it here, then. That's all we eat. <laughs> Roger that. One of our island's friars is missing. We can't find him anywhere. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up. Halfway through all the battles, done with battle 15. 15 down, 15 to go. Stay tuned, stay informed. Maximum entertainment. Yeah.